Hey, what's up guys? This is Poker Express, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos. Let's jump straight into the action. And he picks up a good hand. <laughs> it's funny listening to these conversations. Yeah. Stevie obviously has been raising the 525. Jake's been making it 600. Stevie says, you keep making 600, I'm not going to play. I want a bit of a discount to see some flops. And wow, what a flop for Jake. Ace, queen, queen. Flops three of a kind queens. Stevie, though, does still have outs with his pocket pair. Jake does check it over to Stevie. He will see bet with his sevens. Again, this kind of... Now we need a seven. This, <laughs> this is when, we, when it would be very interesting. Obviously, Steve are there, not necessarily wanting to get caught, but protecting his equity against the yeah. cards, right? Oh Whoa, my you God! Called it. I can't believe it. You <laughs> did call it. Stevie turns the full house. Jake still with three of a kind. Oh my God! The first big clash we're going to see in this heads-up match. Just a question of how Jake wants to play his queen. Imagine with a three pick, he's <laughs> probably going to go cool down. But Stevie now surely will. Well, sizing on the turn one thing but size I mean, in the river would be big yeah like it's funny as well if they just had this chat about how you know oh you're not gonna be play we're gonna make out it's gonna be a long heads up match the chat maybe slightly changing the dynamic he's here. wow he's like more than pop he's gone two million into a 1.5 wow. million chip pot i mean jake can only call now yeah jake unless of course the three comes on the river well, well, if you're calling for action, then action. That I think we got it. I, I called for enough action, I think. Yeah, I you dug the seven out somewhere. Yeah, I don't know where I pulled that seven from. And well, Jake, take his time and we'll call with us three of a kind. Stevie now will be playing the American as a queen. Oh, oh well, that's wow. just going to kill yeah. it all. That is the absolute action killer. This will go check, check. I'm sure Steve will muck. Oh. That frustration. <laughs> Jake thinks it was a bad river for him. That? Unlucky river? I acted like you were maybe firing one more time. <gasps> he really thinks he was ahead. <laughs> so in the small ace three of clubs. It's just going to complete. I uh, just spunked it off in the $33 PPL. And Piccoli with ace king in the big blind, so blind on blind. There we go. Walter's going to limp call, I believe. Limp three betting would be suicide. And Brian has gone for a little bit more than 4x. And yeah, I think I'm, I'm with you there, Tom. It just makes sense for Walter just to limp call here. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, keep the questions coming in, guys. It's really nice to have a uh, back and forth with the chat, especially when it's not a retarded one, when it's actual questions. Because we need we need content here. Me and Ooh. Dempsey. Ooh. Jesus. Ooh. This is as cold as it gets, blind on blind. Brian flopping top pair, top kick, a water top and bottom pair. Extremely debatable check raise spot because you block so, so why you don't want to check raise here is because you want to keep them like going crazy with their. If it's a good player, you expect them to have some nine-two offsuits and stuff. Right. Uh, Just zero so, equity hands. Yeah, zero equity hands. So you want to check call this because you want to keep those in. But at the same time, this hand needs protection. And when we check raise, we might get it in against like Ace Ten Plus almost always or flush draws. So I think this is really close between the two really close I, I i i mean i personally like calling like you're saying again kind of need to protect those you I, know, like I, the queen x hands and stuff that we don't want to i think i like a check raise too but um wow wow, wow. Card. brian turns wow. top two walter picks up the nut flush draw to go with his two pair you guys are getting a treat i tell you this is some really good poker 2.3 million chips getting out from brian's point of view this has got to be a clear bet Right. Top yeah. two, no reason yeah. to uh, no reason to check to here give a all. card here. I mean, if you're on this board and you're scared with Ace King, quit poker. 
blind be blind? Like. Oh yeah, but it's a question of you know. Can you get? Yeah, you block. You're going to make some queen yeah. X fold and stuff. Whereas, I think you just got to go with this, right? Two diamonds. Just, I think it's just mandatory. Yeah. You're going to want to bluff this card quite often. He picked. If you noticed, he picked a really big flop sizing. Brian did as well. He bet six twenty five after. I don't know what it was pre, but it right, was a big made one. It, uh, yeah, chat, I see it is scripted. Yes, uh, Whirly, I'm coming to Montreal for millions. I'm doing all the million stops this year. <laughs> Jabra, what do you think of Jonathan Little? Nice guy, Jonathan Little, nice guy. We've got a little bit of bad blood between us, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, I, I think, I think we'll, we'll come back to Arthur's hand, but I think I, think I remember yeah, saying sorry, something about that. Yeah, sorry, sorry, j that's a bad habit. I think I... Think I uh... Something here. Walter again. Is this just a, just a check call with here with? Or does he does he put it in here? It does just check call. I think you check call. You again, crush, again, you you crush just, the board you, you again. Think you've just got the hand locked up, don't you? With the clubs now. Yeah. You know, not being scared of the clubs. That that's quite a big difference. Oh wow! Scripted. Runner, runner, clubs. Oh Brian. Check. And he this has just be a jam shove, here. Yeah. Two point two effective. You can't. Oh, he looks like he's. That's not like a strong, I'm about to definitely shove face. That's like, huh. Right, but I mean, you, you can be I, a little bit, oh, I wish I had the ace of clubs in my hand, not the ace of spades, or... I can't but see... How, how are you supposed... I can't was, see him doing anything but going all in. Right. I say, his hand would be so much better if that ace of spades was the ace of clubs and he did block the nut runner on a flush, but... I don't think you could be too worried hand. about that. You're not going to be worried about too many clubs other than a sex of clubs. Right. And that's like, you could bet like non all in, leave a bit behind. That's something I don't do enough. Again, again I mean, he does cover water as well. There we go. Yeah. All in. Snapped. I'll just, let me just double check my God, cards. Bru cool. That's brutal. Sorry, Brian. That's a brutal well, that was, It looked like a cold deck on the flopper in Walter's favour. Then went the other way on the turn and then I think he's got Back some chips left, I think. Yeah, according to the graphics, he certainly yeah. is left with some chips. Walter had infinite, though, and the graphics are slightly... Yeah, the graphics were slightly out from earlier on. Yeah, so Brian's tilted. I, I would be like... Ugh. That was an ugly one. Like, a really ugly one. So I must have raising it up. Tobias, 30 big blinds, a stroke off suit on the button. This is a spot, Simon, where I feel like, you know, he almost certainly has the best hand. But is it strong enough to three bet, call a four bet with? Probably not, especially when there's been no dynamic established so far of, of light three betting. So going for a call and I'll just uh, play some flops. Yeah. With this, we haven't seen like three betting yet. It, it allows players to open more hands because they're just not getting exposed. Jack would be a bit costly. And uh, a dream flop from Mustafa, top pair, backdoor flush draw. I'll go there. Yeah. It's too late. I'll do it next. Um, what's it called? Tobias will make a call, see a turn card. Hoping that Mustafa was just C bet with a weak race or King Queen. Wow, what a turn card. Tobias takes the lead, Mustafa improves to a flush draw. I think some of the reason that he didn't raise on the button is because he'd just seen okay. Mustafa lay down to a three bet from Michael. And uh, quite often players will get a bit stubborn. Yeah, it's just if he three bets, he doesn't know if he gets full bet, if it's a real hand or a bluff. It's just he plays a guessing game and either way ahead or way behind. Uh, Tobias having a worse hand on the flop or an ace if he, if he were to proceed. So check here, allow Tobias to bet. Well, Tobias managed to chip back oh, and that's a terrible card dear, for him. He's saving graces, obviously the... Well, he didn't any, bet the turn. <laughs> any, but any, six, any sixes are straight. Um, not a flush at all because okay. if Mustafa raised pre-flop, bet the flop, and improved a flush draw, almost certainly he's going to bet the turn. Mustafa's has checked. And that's probably why Mustafa's doing this. He's praying somehow Tobias has a six. Please. 2.6 million in the pot. 
He's counting it out. Oh, he's going big. Yeah. 1.5 million. It's a Christmas for Mustafa. He's he's trying to make it look like he's got a six or, or nothing. You know, there's there's not that many hands he can value better with. Uh, Tobias will think it doesn't like he's got an ace because he would have bet it on the turn. He knows exactly what stack size Tobias has. I'm surprised. It's like he's piercing out slightly less than all in. Four point two million. Four million two hundred. Bus just threw up a little bit in his throat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you surprised at that back there? Do you not think it would have might? Well, this uh, he's check raised me on the river. What has he possibly got? That and yeah. and I've, I'll tell you what, he's gone through that, worked it all out very quickly, and that's why these guys <laughs> are sat playing a 50k super high roller. A right. lot of players would have gone broke in that hand. Neil folding a seven of hearts in the cutoff, a bubble. Fold. I think so. Uh, it might be a little too tight. I, I'm not. He's seven of hearts Six on the handed. cutoff. Six-handed with these stacks. Yeah, maybe it's right. I mean, Neil's going to know these spots certainly better than I will, Jeff. And if our counts are correct, which I don't know if they are. Yeah, I think it's I think it's fine. I think it's reasonable. Plus, let's just say it was absolutely correct because James has the ace queen of diamonds. Yeah, and I mean <laughs> being six handed now, you're one off the money and yeah. you have Luca who's so short. Yeah. I think it's it's just fine to avoid those spots altogether. He's 5-3 with one diamond. Pairing a wheel drop for Francisco. Top pair. A couple backdoor draws for James. James will bet 300k. Francisco lining up the check raise. Makes it 900k. Certainly not going anywhere. I like this. Big race. pot developing yeah, between our two hearts, biggest stacks. Two pair equity, obviously a straight draw. Max pressure and oh my. At the two pair draw as well, which he spiked on the turn. Lead for 850k. James very well may find a correct fold here. So much more likely for the big blind to have some sort of 4x holding, and it would also make sense for him to be check raising a hand like. 1.8. And oh my gosh, rather. Wow. 1.8. What? He's totally flipped the script. Romero now raising on this one liner to a straight, saying, uh uh, I'm on the button. I'm uncapped. I can have a four. He's going to take control of this hand. And he puts Francisco in a really tough spot now with five deuce.
Holy Francisco cow. Francisco calls and almost 6.3 million in the middle as we await this river. And that river oh my is a queen. A better two pair for James Romero. This is unreal. I, I mean, I've never, never saw the race coming by Romero. Now we have top two. This is so strange. I assume Romero now is targeting a lesser two pair. When we're called on the turn, what do we think our opponent has? Right? If we just rip it, aren't we getting snapped by all the fours? Then again, we don't want to miss value from right. any of the other two pair combos. Maybe he just bet small. Let's see if he can get value around two million. James is going to go ahead and check back and show down the winner. Francisco not pleased. Seven eleven a.m. Seven eleven. I was lab. three twelve a.m. My mom went into labor at eleven p.m. So I was pretty I convenient, to baby. No. Didn't take too long. <laughs> Mandatory all in with the five deuce off suit. Yeah, not what you want to look down on. You know? You know? Sometimes it's like that. But he's live. They are all wearing black 08 grinder. It's good to say, to be fair, Jean has been dealt horrible cards. He has. Yeah. Other than that slight misstep. Big misstep, if you will. With the ace queen earlier on. Yeah, I'm sure he's thinking about that one. As you were saying, this free roll is pretty fun, not gonna lie. Enjoy it. Plenty more this week. Wish it's I could play. $250 guaranteed free roll. Starting at 6 p.m. Central European time, 5 p.m. UK time. Every day that we go live for the next seven days. You can also get some tickets from watching. 2200 channel points equals one two dollar and twenty cent euro cent ticket. Yeah, is it cents here? I'm not sure. I was, I was focused too much on uh, the hand. Mm. <gasps> He's so live. Yes, indeed. Uh, for Molina. Wait, what is he? Who's he whispering to? Is it, oh, him and Tion, obviously, both from the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. A quick fold from Lip. Top pair, top kicker, currently good. Some sweaty turn cards. Yeah. These three, five, deuce. Need that duck to squeak. Let's note how the duck is not looking at the table anymore. I know. And definitely an intentional. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> wow, if he calls it in again, I swear. Ooh. Okay, ace of clubs. Wow. On the river, and we're gonna lose Zhang Chen in 10th another great run for him a european live stop just super consistent finds ranging from 1k's all the way up to 10k's just seems to be in the mix both tournaments and cash games but that does mean that the final table bubble has burst I'm gonna bring you guys back into the broadcast booth momentarily do we have a break or just show you guys